Happy birthday to you. Ooh. <laughs> happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Being you in the midst of a new journey, remaining yourself in a world filled with many images, listening to the voices inside you even when the music is so loud, remaining as her even when trends pass you by, choosing the right thing by you even if it's inconvenient to the people, standing by a dream even if it feels like you are chasing stars, taking the longer road because you are being you, and staying true to who you are, no matter what it could take. And today, welcome to my birthday vlog. And today is the 26th of September. Today is also my birthday. Happy birthday to me, huh? And also people celebrating their birthday on the 8th, 8th of October. Anyways, guys. I just wanted to vlog this year's birthday even though I'm gonna be at work which is I have to get ready now while I'm watching the vlog just a reminder and all my friends even though they've sent me messages and calls it's been it's been a wonderful morning and I am hoping for a good good day I cannot wait to see my flowers mm. I don't know what I'm gonna wear because it's super cold also in the Midlands. Let me check the weather. Um, so today it is... There are even chances of rain. Oh, right? Well, even tomorrow. But anyway, it's one of... I am just praying for more and more years, more years and more blessing. I need to charge my, my camera battery in my hair guys because I don't know how I forgot it on the whole entire night. Yeah, love you lots Happy guys. birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Ooh. <laughs> happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Ooh, amen. Thank you. So, guys, this is me. I'm done dressing up. I'm going to work very unfortunate, maybe fortunately. But this is how I look. This is my second time wearing this dress. The last time I wore this dress, it was actually our Levis dinner at like uh, in my class, our BL class. I think I still look good, anyways. Oh, guys, let me get my jacket because it's very cold in the Midlands. Get my jacket, get my stuff, and leave before the driver is here. I won't lie, it gets scary to think I am all by myself, new people and new environment. I wonder how other people just move to different countries or even continent and leave everything behind chasing dreams. Cause come this small moment when everything feels strange, exciting, new, scary and sad, yet hopeful. Hi guys, I'm now going to the hotel where I say gonna put lunch food. But my battery is flat. Tell me, I wish you would laugh. Yes, pose, pose again. Yay! <laughs> Thank you so much. I said, kind of for lunch. I really did enjoy it.
When somebody wrote on Facebook how they rebuked the spirit of being sad on their birthday, they reminded me all those years when we celebrated my birthday, and all I could think about was my late father. Oh my gosh, I see corner. Oh, I'm so happy. All I could think is, would he still remember me? Does he still remember me? And every year it was just almost a but things have changed. As much as I have celebrated my birthdays, each year something amazing happens. I feel more loved and more appreciated. And also that has made me to be able to buy flowers for myself. Guys, it's Friday and good morning. I just got done. Almost, I need to just put in a bit of this before I go. And is it the first Friday of October? Yep. Yeah, it's the first Friday of October and I have been rushing. So let me go and wait for my driver. A kiss. You know with us, uh, Zulu is so like, doing the Zulu wedding, you have a kiss to be like, you as a wife, you take a kiss from your house to your in those days. Yeah. 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 That means that you are no longer coming back alive. You will die there. It symbolizes the death for me. But now we're going to be buried bedside. Now it's with you. Yeah. What's your necklace? There's nothing. Not just an empty kiss there. That symbolizes the When I was a young girl around the age of 6 upwards, I used to love dancing in our traditional way, the Zulu way. But in my teen years, I had learned to fear doing everything that I have loved. I learned to stop doing the things that my age mates were doing. It is quite sad how much I don't remember of my childhood, but as I grow up, some things just pop up. I still remember how people made fun of my skin tone. There is a scene in being too dark. It is funny because I don't see myself as being too dark anymore. I just realize that self-hate is taught. As much as the things have been, I will always be grateful for the time I have spent in my restroom and in my apartment in Makanda. The journey of unlearning the self-hate and the little steps I'm still taking in learning to do all the things I fear. The most amazing love I received on my birthday from my family and my friends made me feel very special. So guys, I just got back from town. It took a little bit longer because we had to go somewhere. So I passed by, I can see I got the bucket for one meal. It's 40 rands. So it literally has slappies, one piece, yeah, I think so. And I also tried to buy the loaded fly fries by KFC. And believe it or not, these are the loaded fries. I'm not even gonna lie, I'm super disappointed. I also got strawberries at Pick and Pay. I got the charger, which was the main reason I went to town. I bought this new top from Jet. Oh my gosh. This top, it was one dirty. Yep. And 
some new earrings. They 40 rands. And some new sunglasses. They literally look cool on me. And they were 70 rands. I don't know, but I, I have a thing for sunglasses now. And I went by Spa Liqua. I got the Malibu Strawberry Decory, one of my favorites. And I got myself the the yoga tub because I wanna have it with the with my thingy with my homemade granola. I also got this fruity mix which I'm going to mix with my granola just now. So I'm just gonna mix it like this. Mix all together. Oh, it's gonna look so yummy. So now it's in a bowl. Look at that. It does look homemade. I keep on learning something new every day. There's this TikToker, Kanti, if I'm not mistaken. It's funny how she talks about poverty. How she says that some of her things, we call them expensive because we're just poor and we can't afford them. And probably it's not us who are speaking just poverty. She passes a message of working hard, but mostly she shows appreciation of where she is now. And that made me realize that being happy for the things I can do on my own, the big things I can buy for myself, like buying flowers, new sunglasses that I am proud and that I wear every day, buying a donut for myself, that should make me happy. That I am fighting to be better. And I hope we appreciate it more in our 20s. Thank you for watching.